Good afternoon, traders. This is Kevin Craney with RJO Futures with your afternoon financial market update. Cash, uh, cash index is actually trading higher on the day off of uh, the testimony of Ben Bernanke in Congress uh, this morning. Uh, ben Bernanke actually given the markets some of what they want in terms of saying he still has some bullets in the chamber. Um, and giving a little bit more of a uh, sour assessment of the economy and actual downgrade for GDP for the full year, misleading uh, most people to believe that uh, another QE event, QE3, uh, is right around the corner, particularly with a uh, GDP number below 2%. Two, uh, two uh, and, and some people feel that that just is a setup precursor to QE3. So market's actually cheering this. Uh, we have the cash S&P trading up 10 actually at um, 1363. You have the Nasdaq uh, up 13 at 229.10, and then you have the Dow up about 78 uh, at 12,805 on the day. So markets cheering that. In terms of interest rates, you really didn't see very much of movement in the interest rate market at all. Uh, Rates did tick down just a bit, but 10 years coming in right at 150 basis points, 30 years coming in at 260 basis points. So still uh, a tale of two worlds. The interest rate market certainly not believing uh, exactly what the equity markets are believing uh, in terms of the strength of this economy and what kind of effect uh, the additional uh, stimulus will have or quantitative easing will have uh, on this economy. As we look uh, uh, ahead in tomorrow's data points uh, here in the United States, we have housing starts that are due out. And then we have Ben Bernanke actually talking to the House uh, tomorrow, uh, so certainly we'll be listening uh, for anything different that may come up tomorrow, but um, uh, as all, uh, all eyes are looking, it'll be the same testimony, just a different round of questions to see if we can probe any deeper for an outlook on what, uh, what the bullets in the chamber might still be. Uh, looking overseas, uh, we do have uh, a realm of different data coming out, Bank of Japan meeting minutes coming out, uh, the Bank of England meeting minutes coming out, uh, and we have the Bank of Canada, uh, Bank of Canada meet monetary policy report coming out as well tomorrow. So uh, a lot of different central banks issuing reports from previous meetings, giving us an assessment of their economy. Uh, on things of you. On Europe Watch, looking at yields, specifically Spanish and Italian yields, we look at Spanish yields holding really at 672 basis point level, Italian yields holding at 600 basis point level. Generally, the first thing that everyone looks at in the morning is just to see what's happening over in Europe, really no uh, further indication that anything is solved, but uh, certainly nothing out of control at this point. So all, all said and done, it looks like interest rate markets continue to hold their own. Looks like we continue to have support, particularly in this weak economy, and we can continue to see these levels held, uh, particularly as we guess at whether QE3 is imminent or not. Please give me a call and we can talk about these financial opportunities and others. My number 888-596-5817. Um, and as always, futures trading is not suitable for everyone and does carry a high degree of risk.